you might be training very hard, you might be very fit, but every time you're hitting the bag or in the mitts and sparring, you're getting gassed out. Well, on this video, I'm gonna give you five tips that's gonna help you last longer during your sessions so you get the most out of each session. I see it often. You might be in great shape, you're getting fit, you're getting stronger, but then during your session, you're like this. <sighs> Why is this so bloody hard? This video is going to really help you. And at the end of the video, I'm going to give you a demo of me doing these tips. So you're not just hearing me see it, you're actually seeing me do it as well. And if you're new to this channel, my name's Tony Jeffries. I'm an Olympic medalist boxer, won seven national titles, a European gold medal. And on this YouTube channel, I give you everything boxing, how to punch harder, how to punch faster. So if you want to get better at boxing, make sure you subscribe for more great videos like this. Let's get into it with tip number five. Now see if you can see what I'm doing wrong here. Well, if you're doing this, no matter how fit you are, you're going to get tired pretty fast. Every single punch you see me thrown here is hard. You need to pace yourself. You wouldn't see a marathon runner sprinting for the full 26 miles because after one minute, he's going to be exhausted. You need to pace yourself and work on light punches. This is, in fact, how you would set up a power punch. But what seems to happen, you might be in the gym and someone comes on the bag next to you and all of a sudden we try to impress. And I'm guilty of this too, where you see them looking at you, then all of a sudden it's <laughs> But then, <laughs> <laughs> we get tired. And the same when you're on the mitts, people will try and impress the coaches by throwing them big bombs. But it doesn't have to be hard. You should be working on the light punches to be able to set up the power punches. And when you see the demo at the end, you'll understand why. Because if you can't land a fast light punch, you're never going to be able to land a big power punch like that. And when I give you the demo at the end, this will make a lot more sense. Now moving on to number four is something very important. And for me, teaching boxing for years now, it's one of the most difficult things for people to learn, which is crazy because we do it every day without thinking anyway. And it doesn't matter how fit you are. If you're not doing this, you're going to waste all your energy and be exhausted. Can you guess what it is? Well, it's breathing, but it's known how and when to do it correctly in boxing. When we're boxing, especially when we're starting off, it's natural to want to hold our breath to try and get power in the punches. If you're holding your breath when you're punching, you're going to get tired three to four times faster. If you've ever done swimming underwater, you'll know how exhausted you get because you're holding your breath and you're using lots of energy at the same time. Now, this is the same as you're swimming underwater. If you're holding your breath and punching, you're going to get tired very fast. Learning how how to breathe and when to breathe is key. Every time you're throwing a punch, you want to exhale out and then suck straight back in. And then when you're moving around and you're out of range like this, again, I'm totally relaxed and I'm breathing, I'm relaxing my full body. And this is the time to recover. But what tends to happen when someone is in front of you, whether it's the mitt guy or a sparring partner, we start getting tight and really over analyzing and thinking about things. And we tense our muscles. And it's right here when we're like this, that's burning energy that's unnecessary. Now, if you're watching this video, you're probably fit enough to do this all day long. I'm totally relaxed. I'm moving around, I'm breathing. I'm hardly using any energy energy, which may seem crazy because I'm doing lots of moving, but I'm not because I'm conditioned to do that. But then as soon as someone gets in front of you, whether it's the pad man or a response partner or someone's on the bag next to you, my shoulders start getting tight, my legs getting tight, and this is where I'm wasting that energy. Even if you're holding your breath just a tiny bit more, it's not good. We need to really focus on relaxation. And when you do this correctly, you only get more speed and power in your punches. And I'll show you that at the end. And that's why you see champion boxers like Roy Jones here during eight rounds against Bernard Hopkins. Look how relaxed he is because he understands breathing. And with the demo at the end, it's going to give you a great way to get into good habits to be able to do this without thinking about it. But first, you've got to think about it every single time you're doing it, get it into your head. So you think about it, do it, think about it, do it until you get to the point of being able to do it without having to think about it. Number three is another big one. And I remember when I was on the Great Britain boxing team, training for the Olympic qualifiers. Alongside me was my good friend and teammate, Stephen Smith, who was nine times national champion and Commonwealth Games gold medalist. We were training so bloody hard. And I remember I felt like I couldn't get through some of the training sessions. He would come up to me during the same session and he could see that I was getting tired. He was also doing this session. He was dripping with sweat also exhausted and he would fist pump me we've got this champ 
let's go. And that little boost from Stephen would get me through that session. You know, you might have heard the phrase, if you think you can, you can. If you think you can't, you're right. If you go into the session thinking, oh, I'm really unfit, this is going to be too hard for me, I can't get through it, then that session's going to be a big struggle for you, mate. Instead, get your mind right. Think of something that really motivates you and will help you get through that session. When you're tired, think about what you're doing this for. Think about why you started. Think about your next session will be better because you've put the work in during this session. Number two is super important. If you don't get this right, not only will it prevent you from getting the most out of each session and help you last longer in your sessions, but also if you are doing sparring, it could cause you to get seriously hurt, which obviously we don't want to get. Did you know when we're dehydrated, our electrolyte balance gets really thrown off? This imbalance leads to muscle fatigue throughout your sessions, making it harder to keep up that high pace that we want to get through the session. But by staying hydrated, we're going to maintain this balance throughout the full session, which is making sure our muscles can operate at their very best, preventing that horrible fatigue that's preventing us from feeling stronger for longer. One thing I love to do is add this into my water. This is element. Not only does it fully hydrate me, but it's full of electrolytes, sodium, magnesium, potassium, exactly what my body needs to perform at the very best. And I'm so happy that element are sponsoring today's video, as this stuff is very legit. It's got no sugar, no BS like the other hydration drinks out there. And I'm actually drinking this every morning when I wake up, not just after a workout. I can't recommend this highly enough. And what they're doing for all my lovely subscribers is going to give you a free sample pack with any order. Another thing that's amazing about this company, if you order some and you don't like it, they will give you a full refund and you don't even have to send the box back. How good is that? So you can scan here on your phone or you can go to drink lmnt.com forward slash boxing and like I said you're going to get a free sample pack with every order. I know you're going to love it especially when you see your boxing stamina picking up from all of these tips on the video. Now moving on to tip number one is another big one. See if you can see what I'm doing wrong here that's maybe getting me tired and wasting energy. <laughs> it's even hard for me to do this. <laughs> well, I'm wasting so many punches by throwing BS combinations. I mean, what was that? <laughs> there should be a reason why you throw every punch in a combination. For example, if I threw a... Which was a jab the head, cross to the body, hook to the head. This makes sense because if you think I threw that jab to the head and the person's hands have come up, open them up for that body, boom, there, arms come down, hook there. It just makes sense. But often, people see the Mayweather's silly mitt work like this, and they think that's how you box. It's not. This will only get you into bad habits. Now, you might be thinking, well, Tony, I'm trying to throw more punches because I want to get fitter. Why are you telling me not to throw them? <laughs> well, I'm not seeing that. I'm seeing if you are throwing lots of punches, which is great, you should be, you should make sure you're perfecting the punches. Make sure every punch you throw, you're, you have good form. And to make sure you're doing this, whether you've got a trainer or haven't got a trainer, you should use my ideal punching system. This will help you perfect your punches. This is where I show you how to identify your mistakes and also how to drill out your bad habits so you do ultimately throw perfect punches every time you're on the bag. And this is totally free for you. You can scan here or go to tonyjeffries.com and I'll send you it with a bunch of different heavy bag workouts that you can do to help perfect your punches. No strings, no BS, just scan here or go to tonyjeffries.com. Now it's time for this demo. I'm going to show you how to work on these tips. And the first thing is breathing. And the drill I've got for this is what I give to people who's really struggling with the breathing and getting too tight, like I mentioned earlier on. And what I'm doing here, I'm just focusing on one thing, well two things actually. One, I'm keeping my feet apart when I move, which you always want to do. But the other thing is I'm staying relaxed and breathing. Now, if you do boxing training, you should be fit enough to do this for a full round easy. So hands down moving. What I'm going to do from here, I'm going to bring my arms up Keep them relaxed, again, focus on that breathing, but now I've got my hands up. Then from here, I can start throwing some punches. Just nice, nice and light. And then when you do add our punches in, it doesn't have to be 100 mile an hour, but I want you focused on exhaling with each punch. Now, with this easy, 
We can do this all day long because we're not going 100 mile an hour and we're focusing on breathing. And that right there is a great drill to help you work on relaxation and improve your breathing. Now, moving on to the next thing is power punches. We need to work on setting them up. So rather than what I showed you earlier on the bag, we're going to set up them power punches with the light punches. So for example, I'm here. Two light but fast jabs. And then I'm going to set up with the power punch behind that jab. Another one would be a nice light one, two, big heavy left hook. Just remember, every punch doesn't have to be hard. And the next one is how not to waste any punches. And I show you how to do that on a heavy bag to look like a pro. I created this video right here. So if you click here, it'll take you through and watch this video. It's going to be an absolute game changer.